And then I lived in an apartment with like eight other people when I first moved. In a basement apartment on 7th Street between 1st and A. And uh, it was pretty funny. I came back once from work and someone had stolen my bed. Stolen your bed? It was great. Yeah. But those things happen in New York. Okay. You kind of live with crystal meth addicts, meth addicts and, you know, okay. crazy people. Yeah. yeah. How long ago is it that you moved there? Uh, well, 1997, 98 was probably, oh, okay. you know, so when I moved. Yeah. So now I was thinking. Um, you're going to try and work out my age now. You're like, uh, yeah, yeah. So you're 45. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, uh, that's right. You know, no, no. Yeah. I went back there in like what 2006. I don't know. Yeah. No, but um, now I was thinking. Um, is, uh, what was it? Last year or something? I was talking to uh, uh, Joe Jackson. Uh -huh. He's probably a hero of yours. Yeah, he was like. Yeah. You were like, you ever heard of the Fabrical Cures? He's like, no. Who the fuck are those guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. Uh, he. I was talking about him also. Uh, about New York because he left there and he said it for him it, it changed a lot uh, after 9-11 do you agree with that or uh, well yeah um, yeah I was there in 9-11 I was um, we played a show the night before at a venue called Don Hills and um, I was yes it did change dramatically the last eight years have been very different uh, but you know everything's circular you know, everything has its time. I don't know, it was a very, very d difficult time for a, a lot of people, you know. And it's very emotional to see sort of something like that happen. You don't need to see it happen, but you know, if you're seeing, if you're watching, you know, I remember like sort of taking the bus to the airport and you know, I remember, I remember coming across a bridge and I, you know, you see the smoke just coming over, over, from the lower part of Manhattan over into Brooklyn. And, you know, that's the new skyline. You can't fuck with the new, sorry, can I swear on this? Right. You can't mess with the uh, New York City skyline. No. You know, it really bothered me, yeah. you know, because they were very, uh, very necessary buildings. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, if someone put a plane in the Empire State Building, the, that would have been that would have been it, you know. That's the most for me that and the Chrysler Building, are the most beautiful buildings in the world, and um, they mean an incredible amount to that city. And um, you know that city means an incredible amount to me. So you know it bothered me a, a hell of a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I'm here. You really feel you are a New Yorker. Yeah, I think anybody who yeah. you know New York is not a big statement for the rest of America. Do you know yeah. what I mean? New York is, yeah. a, is a multicultural area. You know, you got, yeah, yeah. you know, the most beautiful people live in New York City, right? Because everything is there. You know, you've got acting, modeling, music. Everybody yeah. lives in New York City, from finance to creative arts, whatever. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's just a, it's like a melting pot of sh stuff that's going on all the time. Yeah. And um, you can just go in any direction, which is great. Yeah. You can't, you, you, people say the same, that, same thing about London. No way. London's no, nothing like New York City. Nothing. Nothing like it. Um, and uh, I have a deep affiliation for New York, yeah. Okay. Always, I'll always have yeah. an affiliation for New York.